Joe Biden may very well be the next president of the United States, but at the same time, President Trump has no intention of conceding without a fight. Meanwhile, the news around the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and other vaccines is also tremendously positive, and yet there is still plenty of uncertainty around the timing of broad distribution of a vaccine if indeed it is approved. On Monday, investors were quick to react to all of the positives, rocketing the S&P 500 to a fresh record high before the euphoria then quickly faded in a big way into the close. We also continue to highlight risks to the global economic outlook, irrespective of the next president of the United States and the outlook for the vaccine. We continue to stare at a disturbing disconnect between asset prices and rates, with central bank policy and government stimulus tools reaching their limits after a decade plus of artificial support. This is the reality investors should be contending with as 2020 winds down, and this is the reality that doesn't exactly set up the global economy for resounding success when considering the prospect of contending with future negative shocks without that same benefit of central bank and government support in the same way that's been there since 2008. Looking ahead, key standouts on Tuesday's calendar include UK employment data, Eurozone and German ZEW reads, US jolts, job openings, and Fed quarrels testimony. That's all for now.